I'm Caroline. Welcome to Chair Yoga. You don't need uh, any props for this class except for a chair, preferably one without arms. So throughout class, modify as needed. Listen to your body. If I'm cueing you to do anything that's uncomfortable, just back off a little bit. And most of all, have fun. So we'll start out by getting centered, taking a moment to tune in. Hands, palms on the uh, thighs, feet flat on the floor. We'll close the eyes and tune into your breath. Take some nice, deep, smooth breaths, inhaling and exhaling through the, your nose. And try to check in on your body. See what's showing up for you today. Maybe you just got done with a meeting or kids or school. Try to leave that at the door. Thoughts are going to try to come in. Try to notice them and then let them go. And just feel, feel your breath on the inhale, moving all the way up into the chest, into the collarbones. And then follow your breath all the way out. A couple more. Might be the only 20 minutes you have to yourself today, so let's savor it. And when you're ready, float the eyes open. And we'll do some circles with the neck. We're going to start out slow, waking up the neck. Nice slow circles. And then reverse the direction. Might hear some popping and crackling. That's normal. Well, for me it is anyways. And then from here, let's place the palms together in front of the heart and interlace the fingers. And then press the palms away from you, actively pressing the palms away. You can feel your shoulder blades wrapping around your back. Really press away, waking up the forearms, maybe your fingers. And then on an inhale, lift the palms up towards the sky. The elbows are back by your ears if that feels okay. If not, just stop wherever your body tells you to stop. And actively press up and lift the pit of the belly. Maybe pulse a couple times. Feel your wrists waking up, your forearms. And we're breathing. And on an exhale, let the head drop. Let the back of the neck get long. But we're still pressing the palms towards the sky. Sit bones are nice and even on the mat, on the, on the mat, on the chair. Look up those shoulders. Inhale the head back up, release the hands, shake it out. And let's roll the shoulders. Especially if you're working at a desk all day, you might have some pretty tight shoulders. We want to relieve some tension there. And from here, let's inhale, raise the arms up till the palms touch, maybe gaze up. And on an exhale, twist to your left. I'm mirroring, so twist to your left. Right hand is on the left knee, left hand is behind you on the, on the back of the chair. We're twisting at the waist. And the gaze is over the left shoulder towards the back, right? And moving with our breath, as we always do in yoga, we want to inhale and lengthen the spine. And on the exhale, maybe deepen the twist just a little bit. You can use your hands to help uh, deepen the twist a little. Be gentle with yourself. Now turn your gaze towards the front. Again, don't crank the neck. Just getting a little, introducing a little movement here. Now we're going to do the other side. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist. Now the left hand on right knee. Right hand behind you, gazing over the right shoulder. 
Inhale, lengthen the spine, crown of the head's going towards the sky. Exhale, deepening the twists ever so slightly. Couple more breaths. Let's do that one more time. Oh, sorry, I forgot to look forward, sorry. <laughs> Turn your gaze forward. We'll do a couple breaths this way. Yoga is serious, but we like to have fun. We make mistakes, right? So now let's inhale the center. And we'll twist to the left. Maybe you'll get a little deeper this time. Maybe you won't. Nice juicy twist. Couple of breaths here. And last time, inhale to center. Exhale, twist. Again, maybe a little bit deeper on this one. Whatever feels good to you. And we'll inhale back to center. Exhale, let the elbows drop. Okay. Shake it, wiggle it out. Now we'll do some cat cow. Seated cat cow. So on the cat cow, on an inhale, we arch the back and lift the heart. I'll do it from the side because maybe it's easier for you to see. So the hands will be behind you. On an inhale, lift the heart, lift the gaze, arch the back just a bit. And on the exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone. So move with your breath on this. Whatever feels good. I said, don't crank anything. You don't want to hurt anything. If you got lower back issues, just be mindful. Everybody's body's different. So connect the movement with the breaths. So as you start to inhale, lift the heart. As you start to exhale, round the spine. Cat cow. You'll see this in probably every yoga class you do. It's just a good spinal wake up. And move back to the front. All right, so now for some lateral bends. This is Ardha Chandrasana, or half moon pose. Modified, of course. On an inhale, let's raise the right arm up. And on an exhale, we're gonna bend to the left. So your hand can be on the chair, keeping you from falling off, but you wanna get a nice sideways bend to the spine. So both sit bones are still on the chair. If it feels okay, gaze up to the sky or to the ceiling, whatever you're looking at. Feet are still flat on the floor. Get a great stretch on the right side, but we're still breathing. Sometimes you get into tricky poses and you stop breathing. Keep breathing. And then we'll inhale, exhale to the other side. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, bend to your right. Again, use your planted hand on the chair to keep you from falling off, but it'll also keep you getting a nice deep stretch in the left side. Maybe gaze up to the sky, really reaching the fingertips away from you, opening up the side body here. When was the last time you stretched like this, huh? Let's do it one more time. Exhale here, inhale. And bend, take a couple of breaths here. Again, maybe Getting a little deeper on the exhale as we did with the twist. We use our breath to help guide the body. And we'll exhale, inhale one last time. And exhale. Maybe get a little deeper. And inhale back up and exhale down. All right. Warming up the shoulders. I like to wiggle it out. Just neutralizes a bit, feels better. Now let's get the legs into the picture here. So we'll wake up the legs. Let's extend one leg, whichever one you want. And point and flex. Just point and flex. See how that feels. You can lift it up higher if you want, wherever, whatever feels comfortable. Get a little action in the thighs. And now let's do some circles. Might hear some popping and crackling. Do the opposite way. All 
And let's put that leg down to the other one. Point and flex. And then we'll do some circles. We'll put that leg down. Now let's inhale and bring uh, your left knee, left or right, up to you, into your chest. Wrap the fingers around the shin, or if that's not comfortable, maybe you uh, interlace the fingers around the thigh. Maybe you only get this high. Again, work with your body here. Everybody's different. I'm medium flexible, so I'm bringing the knee into the chest, getting a nice stretch in the right in the hip and in the hamstring. Still breathing, still lengthening the spine towards the sky, crown of the head, reaching up. And from here, place the ankle on the knee and let the knee fall. So you got like a figure four in your lap here. Now this might be plenty for you, but if it feels okay, press on the knee just a little bit to get a little bit more opening in the, in the hip. Now, this might be enough for you, but we're going to, for, for those of you that have a little, little room, we're going to um, hinge forward at the hips. So inhale, lift the spine, lift the rib cage, and on an exhale, hinge at the hips to whatever is your peak here. Maybe you end up right here. If you're extra flexible, keep going. The hands can be on the foot and on the knee. If you're extra flexible, you can uh, thread the hand through and clasp your uh, shin. But whatever works, it's a big, deep hip opener. So work with your body here and keep breathing. And maybe you'll get a tiny bit deeper into the stretch with each exhale. Maybe you won't. Couple of breaths. Now on an inhale, press yourself back up. Place the leg back down and we'll do the other side. So inhale, knee into the chest, interlace your fingers around the shin or around the back of the thigh, whatever works. Couple of breaths here. Maybe point and flex the foot if that feels all right. And from here, ankle over knee. Maybe pressing on the knee to open up the hip. Be kind. Be gentle to your body here. And on an inhale, lift the rib cage. And on the exhale, we're going to hinge forward like we did on the other side. Try to keep everything even in yoga. What we do with one side, we do with the other. And notice, is this side different than the other side? It is for me. We're not symmetrical, believe it or not. So keep breathing, maybe getting a little deeper into the stretch. A couple more breaths. And on an inhale, slowly walk yourself back up. Let the foot down. Nice work. Now we're going to stand up. Yes, chair, chair yoga, we still stand. So first thing I'm going to do is chair pose. So we're going to stand feet hip distance apart, you know, about six inches or so. You can place your hands on the chair and the uh, feet are parallel and take a nice deep breath and on an exhale bend the knees drop the hips so in chair pose i'm going to step back a little you're really warming up the thighs here so engage your core engage your abdomen you're going to kind of protect your back here and if this feels okay you can even go a little bit deeper. You want to still see your, your toe, your big toes here over your knees. 
Now, if, if you feel all right, you can lift one arm. You can lift both arms. This is traditional chair pose. But do what works for you. Maybe just test it out a little. Maybe bend your knees a few times. See if you can hold the pose with one arm, then the other, or both. See how it feels. Really wakes up the quads here. And when you're ready, we'll put the hands back on the chair and inhale and rise. Shake it out a little bit. Everybody remembers that one is called Utkatasana. So now we'll do uh, a modified down dog. So from here, step back from your chair. Legs are wide. And hands on the chair. And you're going to, as we did at the, uh, at the, with the seated pose, we're going to hinge at the hips. So you may or may not need the chair, but we're going to use the chair. So on an exhale, you bend forward. You don't want to lock out the knees. Have a little micro bend in the knees. So if you can get to the point where your head is between your arms, that's what we're going for. Again, don't lock out the knees. Have a tiny little micro bend in it, but you're going for a flat back. You're waking up the shoulders. Since we've already warmed them up, this should feel okay. Take a few breaths here. Feel the stretch in your back, getting a nice length, long spine. Your shoulders might be feeling some stretching here too. Using your weight. And on an inhale, let's press up. Maybe walk back to the chair. Again, this is just a there's a 20 minute class, so we're not getting too deep into things. But we're waking up all different parts of the body legs, arms, shoulders. And let's go back to the chair and have a seat. We're going to wind down. So now, um, scoot to the, towards the front of your chair. And we're going to do a child's pose. This is another one that you do in every yoga class, but of course it's modified. So you can either exhale slowly and fold over your knees together. Have the hands on the knees and wherever you can get to, just support yourself with your hands and drape your body over your knees. The other option is to widen the legs, depending on how bendy you are again. And on the exhale, fold over, support yourself with your hands. And if, if this is your pose, you can even drop the hands to the floor and get nice and heavy. Just let all the air out. We're still breathing. It's kind of challenging to breathe, but that's good practice for the diaphragm and all your muscles. Let your head hang heavy. Let your arms be heavy. A few more breaths here. And nice and slowly, we're going to inhale and walk ourselves back up. And we'll end where we began. Seated, hands in your lap. Just take a second and again check in. Notice how you're feeling compared to the beginning of class. I'm hoping you feel invigorated and refreshed. Just notice. Take a few more. Let's take a couple of deep breaths before we end class with a big open mouth exhale. Okay, inhale. And exhale. Two more like that. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Let's make it good. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. I hope I see you again. Namaste.